everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. All week I'm joined by four famous faces battling it out for this trophy. And it is going to be a super competitive week. We had a great Monday show. Let's meet our four players, shall we? They are Rachel Riley, JB Gill, Katie Derham, and Richard Herring. <laughs> Welcome back. What a show yesterday. Oh, I barely yes. recovered. Now, Rachel Riley in <laughs> yes. seat one there. You won our first show. I've got the smoking jacket. Oh, you won the House of Games yeah, smoking jacket. Yeah, I never How considered lovely. it before, but I've got my pipe now. It's <laughs> a whole new me. Now, JB, it was a great show yesterday. We're going to take a look at the weekly leaderboard, which yeah. currently doesn't make great reading for you, but this is a base to build on. Exactly. Okay, this is what happened yesterday. JB in fourth has got one point. Richard came third. Katie has three, Rachel has four. What did we learn yesterday, JB, about your competitors? Um, they're very competitive. And, yeah. <laughs> and, they're, and they're also very good. It's a really annoying combination. It is. They're competitive <laughs> and they know the answers and they're quite quick on the buzzers. Exactly. Now, Katie, one point yeah. off the lead yesterday. I oh, know. There is no way you're going through the whole week without winning a day. Shall we take a look well, at today's daily prizes? Come Ooh. on, then. Here's what you could win today. There is a <laughs> House of Games <laughs> dartboard. <laughs> House of Games. It's a fuchsia fedora, I see. You are quite right, Katie. Oh, yeah. It is a fuchsia fedora. <laughs> there is a House of Games hip flask, Richard. There is a House of Games... <laughs> house of Games coasters and a House of Games pillow and duvet set. Oh. oh. Yeah. Katie, what would you go for, you think? Tempting as the dartboard is, it would have to be the fedora. The fedora. The dartboard's yeah. actually been I'm the most popular. Jaunty. A lot of people would want to throw darts at you, well, this, You know what? That's yes. what I think. Someone's got an influence. But it's weird, because the producers on the show really like me. So... <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> Richard Herring, welcome back. Thank you. Now, there was a couple of rounds in the middle of yesterday's show where these two just pulled away from the, the gents. Uh, they didn't even pull away from the gents, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Lurking. Sorry, you pulled away from the two gentlemen yeah. here. So today, <laughs> I guess it's just hoping some of the rounds fall for you. I've lulled them into a false sense of security, oh, but <laughs> I may keep well... doing till Friday. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Shall we play round one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very best of luck. Anyone could win this. They really could. It's terrific stuff yesterday. Let's start today's show with. Runespisms. These are two oh. answers, and you swap round the first letter of each answer. So Richard Herring would become Hitchard Rering. Rachel Riley would become. No, it doesn't work with that. <laughs> uh, so you'll see two clues. The answers are spoonerisms of each other. I promise mm. it will make sense after the first one. Fingers on buzzers, or as we say in this round, bingers on fuzzers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Here's your first one. Person who removes explosive devices. And who is this? Yes, Richard. Bomb taker and Tom Baker. It's the right answer. There we go. Ah. You see how it works? <laughs> Easy. Tom Baker, bomb taker. <laughs> I just swap round the first letter of each one. Well done. Here is your next one. What are the two spoonerisms here? Taxi driver's junk. Common name for a mottled feline. Yes, mm, JB. Um... <sighs> nah. Timed out, I'm afraid. Ah. <laughs> Rachel, just beating Katie and Richard. Um, cabby Tat and Tabby Cat. Is the correct answer. Well done. Tabby Cat, Cabby Tat. See, one of the clues is always you can get it, and the other one is just is absurd. Here's your next one. Prom dress made from grilled bread. And what's the title of this song? <laughs> yes, Richard. Toast Gown and Ghost Town. It is the right oh. answer. Well done. <laughs> Ghost oh, Town by the yeah. Specials and Toast Gown. Here's your next one. Outcome of the Battle of Little Bighorn. And who is this? Yes, Richard. Custer Beaton and Buster Keaton. Is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> nice. It's a good round for you so far, yeah. Richard. Yeah. Here's your next one. Mentioned boulders. Professional baseball team based in Boston. Yes, Richard. Said Rocks and Red Sox. Mm. It's the no. right answer. Yeah. Well done. Here's your penultimate question. Your quinultimate question. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What a limbo dancer does to make it under the pole. And what's this song? Yes, JB. Um, get slow, let's go. Here's the right no. answer. Well done. <laughs> Let me 
BBC and that's what you get for being JLS and not stand-up <laughs> comedian. If I hadn't got that one, I, yeah. been, I might have had to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Taxi for JP. Final <laughs> question of this round. Bingers on fuzzers, please. Oh, I'm going to try and get one, right? Making spoonerisms... ..and hobby sometimes known as twitching. Yes, that is JB. Ah. Uh, word botching, bird watching. Here's the right nice. answer. Well done. Oh, and you'll be delighted to hear that's the end of that round. <laughs> I really am. You survived that at home, or are you a Richard Herring? And that was a great round for you. So it's a great round for Richard here in the studio. A uh, great finish as well from JB. Shall we take a look at the scores? No. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Katie, you start oh, with nothing. Rachel, you have one. JB with two. Richard, early lead with four points. Well played. Yeah. So yesterday's top two are today's bottom two, but we've seen it change so many times on House of Games and it could change right now whilst we play round two, which is... <laughs> Distinctly average, it's a team game. With the team games, the person in last place gets to choose their partner. Katie, that is you. Yeah. Uh, it's quite important who you choose in this round. Now, yesterday you were with... Richard? I, I enjoyed our little partnership mm. yesterday, so I'm going to stick with Richard. Okay. Uh, interesting. Right, okay. OK, you're going to stick with Richard. That means, JB, you are playing with Rachel as well. Two good teams from last time. Take your tablets out, please. Oh. OK. <laughs> I'm going to ask you all a series of questions that have a numerical answer. You just need to write down your answer without conferring with your partner. And then going to take the average of your two answers, OK? <laughs> Here's your first one. Can you write down an answer for this, please? According to the latest estimates from the Royal Mail, oh, how what? many post boxes oh. are there in the UK? Wow. Oh, man. Um. How many post boxes are there in the UK? What do you think at home? Has everyone written down an answer? Yep. Everyone in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, we'll start with Rachel and JB. Rachel, what have you said? I had no idea. Mm. I couldn't even work out how to work it out. I went 18,000. So 18,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where I'd go on this one. Yeah. I went yeah. super big because... Oh, JB's gone super big. <laughs> I think it's not even super big, but I just feel like there's at least one on pretty much every street. And you're right out in the country, yeah. right? Yeah. So I said 26 million, but... <laughs> 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 we may not be laughing in a minute. He might be right. Yeah. Might Almost one well between two. <laughs> to be fair, when JB says he's going super big, he's going super big. <laughs> that essentially is sort house. of one for almost every two people. <laughs> oh, one per house. <laughs> oh. In Britain. There you go. The good news for you is the average is the taken average, down yeah, slightly. Yeah. Average might um, be right so the average the between 18,000 and 26 million <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> you got you got for thirteen million nine thousand. That's slightly better, right? Yeah, that is much slightly better. better. Oh, Katie, are you, are you nearer twenty six million or eight thousand? <laughs> um, I went three hundred thousand. Three hundred. That's interesting. I thought about one for every one hundred and twenty people. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Sixty five million like people so in the country. Five hundred thousand. Yeah. That average, I can work out. Four hundred thousand. You're saying, what do you think at home? Where are you? Where's your average? That looks like a good answer to me. I reckon Maybe we're going to win this round. Yeah. <laughs> that's my, that's my, I, I think you might win that. it. I, I think you might win it. So, how many <laughs> post boxes are there in the UK and who has scored the point? Wow. Oh, 115,000. Yeah. You were actually that's the... quite low. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. really low, isn't it? I bet there used to be more, right? Yeah. So, who's the closest? <laughs> actually, Katie. No, actually, Rachel think was Rachel the closest, closest. weirdly. Yeah. How about yeah. that? 115,000. I could have gone for naught and got it close. Yeah, <laughs> you could have done. Could have done. <laughs> well done if you got close to that one. Let's take a look at our next one. Come on, JB. Let's uh, forget that ever happened. All right. Here's your next one. How much was paid at auction in 2013? Oh. For a violin that is believed to have been played as the Titanic the sank. Well. It's just whatever someone wants to pay for it, isn't it? it could be yeah. I'm yeah. having that confirmed that that is the case. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Has everyone written down an answer? Are you in? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. We'll start with Katie because you. All right. Okay. I, it's unfair to say you might know more about this, but <laughs> at least exactly it's, at least it's I mean, sort of in your area. I, can I just be really clear? I don't know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really clear. Um, but I'm thinking, very expensive violins can go up into the millions very easily. Okay. This has got obviously um, souvenir and interest factor, but it won't be a good violin. So I've gone somewhere <laughs> at all. I mean, it won't be a good violin, but okay. it's so I've gone 500k. 
500,000, says Because some, somebody will be wanting it for the story. Yeah. Richard. Yeah, I, Richard, I very well, nearly went higher than this, and then, you know... JP. But then, yeah, I thought... There's still 1.5 million. I'd, I've gone quite high. 1.5 yeah. million. Mm. Gone big, that's okay, right. yeah. You might be right. One million is one the million. average there. Yeah, right. well, so you're saying 500,000, you're saying 1.5 million. Rachel, what have you said? Um, shot in the dock. 570,000. 570,000. Mm. And JB, you're going up or down from I'm that? I'm slightly up from Rachel. 700,000. 700,000, says JB. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. If it's see. 26 million, you're going to kick it. <laughs> 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 I'll just uh, quickly raise that one and go back to the last board. <laughs> Let's take a look at your yeah. average. It is... 635,000. Oh, I couldn't call this one. No. Mm. So they both sound quite convincing. Should we find out which of our teams has scored a point? No one looks that confident. The answer is... Nine hundred thousand, Kate and Rick. We How awful. about that? Oh, yes, <laughs> very, very close. So nine hundred thousand is the answer. Point to Katie and Richard. Should we do one more? Understood. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do our last one. In redemption. And it is. Oh. How long okay. oh. was the? Tra <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Welcome everybody to the House of Games. We're having some fun. <laughs> How long was the twenty seventeen Tour de France in kilometres? In they do quite a lot of wiggles, don't they? Oh, they do mountains. do quite a lot of wiggles, yeah. yeah. Thinking, oh. you're, you're thinking of Sir Bradley Wiggles. God. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's why I did so well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> OK, has everyone got an answer? Yeah. 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 OK, JB, we'll start with you, sir. OK, I've said 3,250 kilometres. 3,250 kilometres. And Rachel? Uh, I went more. I went 64,000. 64,000. That's, that's a, a race. That's a yeah. long I don't know how long way. they go for. It feels like it's on all the time, forever. The circumference <laughs> of the Earth is, is 40,000 kilometres. 40, <laughs> so you've gone once and a half around the world. <laughs> <laughs> JB, she's taken her average up a little. Bit. <laughs> well, we well, tit for tat. We've yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Shall we take a look at your average, <laughs> Rachel and JB? <laughs> It is 33,600. That's not... That, you know You wouldn't even go all the way around the world, 33,000 kilometres. You're laughing. Which is good. Yeah, absolutely fine. You could do that. Um, Katie, what have you gone with? I, I went 4,735, which sounds a little bit... implies precision and knowledge, of yeah. which there is none. <laughs> uh, but I figured that France is about... I don't know, it's about 1,000 miles from top to bottom, isn't it? So... I reckon if they went round a few times. Yeah, surely. Richard, are you gone up or down from 4,000? Uh, I've gone down. I reckon the Tour de France is 22 days long and they do 100 kilometres a day. That is what I reckon. So That's it's 2,200 nice. kilometres. Yes. I'm guessing. Oh, they'll do, yeah. <laughs> so your average, Katie and Richard, is 3,467. Very close to JB's uh, answer. So I wonder, <laughs> Jeopardy Jeopardy is going to win the point here. <laughs> So let's take a look. How long was that Tour de France 2017 and who scored the point? Oh! oh look at that! Happy days! <laughs> look at us! What did you say? Goodness JB? me, that's yes, very close as an average. But also, yeah, JB is it's less than 300 kilometres out. Yeah. JB yeah. by himself. Sorry about yeah. that. Very well played. Great average. Great answer yeah. from JB as well. Point goes to Katie and Richard. Well done oh, if you got that dear. at home. I feel like Tablets you should, away, JB please, should have everybody. Got it's the end of that <laughs> round. Let's take a look at the scores as we go into round three. <laughs> Rachel, you have yeah. one point. Two points for JB, three for Katie Richard. Big lead, seven points. Well played. Go on. Well, well, Katie. Round three. Let's see if we can read them in before the end of the show. <laughs> Round three today is... The backwards round. Now, in this round, I will read out all the questions backwards and I need you to give me the answer backwards as well, Ooh. please. So you'll be Herring Richard or Gil JB. Uh, I promise it'll make sense after the first one. Buzzers on fingers. Question first. Trousers, no, but cap and shirt, sailor, A wears character, Disney Walt, which? Yes, Rachel. Duck Donald. Is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Duck Donald, Donald Duck, of course. Here's your next one. Sex is the of battle, as known match tennis 1973. A in Riggs Bobby beat who? Richard. King Jean Billy, or...? Is the right answer. <laughs> King Jean Billy, Billy Jean King. <laughs> Tune this name. Mm -hmm. 
Rachel. Cars chasing. Is the right answer. Oh, nice. Chasing cars by Snow Patrol. Did you hear how it should have sounded? Mm -hmm. It sounds the same, the, uh, the other <laughs> way around, doesn't it? Well played. Here is your next one. Buzzers on fingers, please. Sky to see the over. Escaped have to said is figure historical witch. Katie. Charlie Prince Bonnie. Is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> And if you'd seen Richard Herring's hovering <laughs> hand over like, his buzzer there. Oh. I'd have got it wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your next one. Features facial about questions no or yes, asking by suspects out ruling involves game board classic which? Yes, Herring Richard. Who guess? Is the right answer. <laughs> who guess? Guess who? Well played. <laughs> Tune this name. Katie. Worry, don't. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Do you want to hear some more? Yes, please. Yes, yeah. Oh, Katie's got it. Rachel. Bird's little three. Is incorrect. Anybody? <sighs> Shall I play it the right way around? Yeah. OK, here it is. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it was Wine Red Red, of course. Yeah. <laughs> By 40 BU. <Yeah. laughs> and here is your final question on the backwards round. Question final. Martel Yan by novel witch of protagonist the is Patel Molitor Piscine. Richard. Sorry. Too long, yeah. I'm afraid. Mm. You're frozen out. Katie. Pie of life. Is the right answer. Right. Life of pie, pie of life. No. Very well played. How did you get on at home there? That's mind bending, isn't it? Another good round for Richard there. I thought we were going to read them in. I think he may have increased his lead after that. Mm. Should we take a look at our scores? Mm -hmm. JB, you have two. Rachel, three. Katie, five. Richard has nine points. Steaming ahead. Two rounds to go, though. Could all change. Should we see what round four is today? It is. <laughs> I'm terrible at dating. <laughs> Yes! Oh, this is going to be this bad for young ones, isn't for it? Me. <laughs> no, this is not bad for young ones, I oh, promise okay. you. Okay. So it's like, what programme in 1960-something did? Uh, don't tell me what the round is. <laughs> That's not that round. You carry uh, on, Richard. Tablets out, please. No. Oh, the tablet one. All we're going to do here, I'm going to ask you uh, when a series of things happened. And you just have to give it a year you think they happened. Nearest gets a point. If you get the exact date, you get two points. Here's your first one. What year did this happen, please? Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife, is executed. Because all the stuff you did at school I know. and have forgotten. There's various history teachers at home God. saying, JB, mm. Rachel, don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone got an answer? Yes. Mm. But I might be out by a decade or two. Mm. Oh, Katie might be out by a decade or two. Well, or more. Means, or century. Interesting. <laughs> Should we leave Katie to last? Oh, no, shush. Uh, <laughs> Richard, we'll start with you then, sir. Um, I, 1528, uh, after, I, I think it's 1520 or 1530s, maybe. 1528, but says Richard. Some it. confidence here. Rachel, what have you gone for? I went the same ballpark and I was skirting around that, but I went 1520. 1520. Mm, JB? Be. I said 1543. 1543, yeah, all in a similar place. I might have gone 1536. This is going to be close. <laughs> Shall we find out when this happened and who has scored a point? It was... Oh! 1536! Oh, very good. I tell you what. Mrs wow. Saunders, very if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Mrs Saunders. Nice. Very good. Two points for you there. You can share Thank one you. of those with Mrs Saunders. So yesterday, Katie did this in round four. Yeah. She, she absolutely really guessed it. Let's see if we can oh, trip her up here. <laughs> Here's your next one. Construction begins oh. <laughs> on Hadrian's Wall. Construction begins on Hadrian's Wall. It's quite old, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Before I was born, definitely. Yeah. Everyone got an answer? Could be a minute. Yeah, no idea. Rachel, we'll start with you. Where have you gone? 
I don't know. I went 200 AD. 200 AD. Mm. You might says. want to keep out some right. Romans, Opa. maybe. Yeah, they yeah, might yeah, have been yeah. around about then. Doesn't sound crazy to me. JB, where have you gone? I went 736. 736. So again, we're all in a similar ballpark. Katie, where are you? I'm very close to Rachel. 180 AD. 180 AD. And Richard? 100 AD. Hmm. 100 AD. So again, we're super close. So 100, 180, 200, and 736. So, when did construction begin on Hadrian's Wall? Whoa. One, two, two. Oh, Richard Herring, very well Richard. done. Yeah. Well played, Richard. The point for you. Here is your next one. When did this happen, please? An Act of Parliament gives women and men equal voting rights in the UK. Oh, I'm so embarrassed that I don't just automatically know this. Mm. It's a tricky one because there, are yeah. there were very yeah, steps were, in this were, process, yeah. so yeah. It's, it's, it's choosing the exact <sighs> the year that, that that step in the process happened. Mm. OK. I, I think I'm going to know. Has everybody got an answer? I think I'm going far too early. Anyway, anyway, yeah, carry on. Where should we start? JB, we'll start with you, sir. Um, I've gone 1945, and I have no clue about the actual answer, but... 1945. Well, it'd be a good year to do it. Exactly, because yeah. the women were so influential during the war, so... Exactly. That's Katie. when I'd have done it. This is it. I'm getting myself in a tangle yes. with yeah. whether you could be over 30 or married or have property and all exactly, this stuff. So exactly. I've, I've plumped for something sort of mid-1920s, 1924. 1924, For sort of some women having Katie, equal yeah, rights. absolutely. Richard. I've gone for 1918, which probably is wrong, because that's just when I think they've got the first... Some women first got mm. the vote. But yes, that's certainly a very significant yeah. date, but, yeah, is it the significant date we are looking for, Rachel? I went for 20 years after. 1938. Maybe before the war gets some stuff oh, done. Nice there. spread. <laughs> Let's take a look. What have you gone with at home? Men and women given equal voting rights in... 1928. Oh, Katie. Nice. Oh, Katie. Oh, well yes. done. Another okay, point to you. Luck than judgment. Very well done if you said that at home as well. 1928 is when they got equal voting rights. Here's your last question in this round. Ah, oh, this is the sort of thing oh. I'm terrible at. William Pitt the Younger becomes Prime Minister. <laughs> William Pitt the Younger becomes Prime Minister. When did that happen? Everyone written an answer? Richard, what have you gone for? Um, I did history for Olaf from 1812, so I think it's before 1812. So, 1789 is what I've gone for. 17, that sounds like a proper historical year, doesn't it, 1789? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is a year. It is one of the years. <laughs> yeah. Rachel, what have you gone with? I had absolutely no idea, so I just went 1910. 1910. JB, what have you gone with? Um, I felt it was 1800s, so I just went low 1800s. You've gone 18, low 1800s, says JB. <laughs> Katie, where have you gone? And I've gone... 1821. 1821. Also, you've even gone even lower 1800s. Yeah. What do you think at home? When did William Pitt the Younger become Prime Minister? Let's find out what is the answer and who has scored themselves a point. Oh. 1783, oh. Richard Herring. Oh. Very well played. Yeah. 1783. Oh, One point to Richard Herring. Not a million I miles did, away. I did a degree in history, so I should have done a bit better in this round. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Tablets away, please, everybody. Mm. A good round for Katie and Richard there. Yeah. And they were doing pretty well already. Should we see the scores leading into our final round? JB and Rachel, two points and three points. Katie, you have eight. Richard in the lead with 11 points. Well played. Nice. Oh. Mm. Looks like we're going to get a different winner today, I would mm. say. Always the same round, the final round, and it is... Answer Smash. Now you know how this works. I'll show you a picture, put a clue underneath it, smash the answers together, please. Fingers on buzzers. Buzz and give me a correct answer, you score a point. Buzz and give me an incorrect answer, you'll lose a point. So that three-point lead could disappear very quickly. Here is your first category. Flowers. So the pictures will all be flowers. There'll be a clue underneath. Smash them together. Here's your first one. Which British dancer and choreographer was a regular team captain on the Celebrity Game Show? Give us a clue. Yes, Richard. Dandy Lionel Blair. Blair. Dandy Lionel oh, Blair is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> See, Dandy Lion, Lionel Blair, smash them together, you get Dandy Lionel and Blair. It's just funny. <laughs> it just is. Here's your next one. Which American singer born in 1917 was nicknamed the First Lady of Song? <laughs> yes, Katie. Blue Bella Fitzgerald. Is the right oh. answer. Blue Bella Fitzgerald. <laughs> Here's your next one. Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered in which burial site located just west of the River Nile? 
Yes, Rachel. Lily of the Valley of the Kings. Oh, is the no. right answer. I'm thinking there was snowdrops. That's another fun one to say as well. <laughs> Lily of the Valley of the Kings. Yeah, nice. Mm. That's nice. Here's your next category. Pop Divas. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. Smash them together. Which 1870s novel by Leo Tolstoy tells the story of a tragic love affair? Yes, Richard. Rihanna Karenin. No, no, no. no. Sorry? I'm afraid I'm going to have to... No, I'm so sorry, you're incorrect. Oh, you've got to give him that. I don't... I, what? He's... You can't <laughs> give him that. <laughs> Anyone else? Rachel. Rihanna Karenina. Rihanna Karenina. Yeah, no, fair enough. Oh, it's, no, no, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> sorry. No, no, fair enough. Yeah, you definitely need to say it. No, no. Rihanna Karenina. Yeah. And it's, and yet it's so simple to say. Rihanna Karenina. A point off for Richard oh, as well God, there. Yeah, yeah. Here's your next one. What name is given to a stone carving often seen on churches and shaped like the head of an ugly creature? <sighs> that is Katie. Lady Gaga Goyle. <laughs> it is. Lady Gaga Goyle is the right answer. Well done. That's another fun one. Lady Gaga and Gargoyle smash them together. Here's your next pop diva. Which author wrote the novels The Secret History and The Goldfinch? That is Richard. Uh, Madonna Tart. Madonna Tart. Madonna and Donna Tart. Correct. Well played. <laughs> Here's your next category. This is getting quite close, I think. Vintage cars. Here's your first one. Which English actor has played Watson in the TV series Sherlock and Bilbo Baggins in the Hobbit series of films? Yes, Richard. <sighs> uh, Mart oh, oh sorry, no, sorry, I've got you. You've got a buzz in and give yeah. it immediately. I'm so sorry, Rachel. Aston Martin Freeman. Aston Martin Freeman is the correct answer. Well done. Here's your next one. Oh. There is no next one. Have you thrown it away at the I last minute? Oh, I don't know. That was drama. Uh, shall we take a look at the scores? See who's won Ten. Tuesday's House of Games. Look, it's Katie or Richard. We know that. But who has taken home today's I don't know. prize? It is. I don't know. I wasn't keeping count. Ooh, oh, Richard, by one point. Nice. Well played. <laughs> For you, I think this person is. <laughs> Katie loses by one point again. Always one the bride's point behind Richard, again. Not tomorrow. You'll be third tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, you'll be fine. Uh, Richard, you get to choose a prize, sir. What wow. would you like to go for? The dartboard, there's the fuchsia fedora. Uh, it's difficult. I... I... I think I'll go for the hip flask because I don't want to throw darts into your face. Ah, oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Herring wins the uh, House Against Hip Flask. <laughs> Should we take a look at the weekly leaderboard? Here's how we stand after two days. Who's going to win that trophy on Friday? JB bringing up the rear on two. Richard has six, Ooh. Rachel has six, Whoa. and Katie has six. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I'm going to say, is close. <laughs> great show, great quizzing by everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you again, same time, same place tomorrow. And we'll see you again as well on The House of Games. First thing I've ever won on television. <laughs> <laughs>